Hey guys, welcome back to another Superverse News episode. Let's begin without any delay. In the role of Mr. Fantastic, with Pedro Pascal. Do you guys know that before Pedro Pascal, an actor of Indian origin, was going to meet, they almost had finalized this actor, but Papa Pedro got the upper hand in the actor's name, Rahul Kohli? James Cameron recently announced that the new Terminator movie will not include iconic characters or elements from previous films. He believes that this approach allows new fans to connect better with the story, avoiding the cringe of overused dialogue. Cameron emphasizes that his story arc concludes here, focusing on fresh narratives rather than nostalgia. Despite mixed feelings about the franchise's legacy, he's still a titan in the industry, with multiple films among the highest grossing of all time. After Avatar, James Cameron plans to tackle a project titled Last Train from Hiroshima. This film will tell the gripping story of a survivor who experienced both the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, showcasing his extraordinary resilience and the divine intervention he believes helped him survive. Good news for Marvel, Deadpool and Wolverine have made significant strides in the superhero genre, with their latest film becoming the fifth highest grossing superhero movie ever, following the Avengers series. After 28 days later and 28 weeks later, the third installment 28 years later is set to feature Killian Murphy once again. Interestingly, the entire film will be shot on the iPhone 16, offering a unique perspective. Behind the scenes, we can see how they are using iPhone. It's like imagine someone joking about changing Captain America's diaper while sitting on the moon. Next, the script for Batman 2 is finally complete, with shooting set to begin in January 2025. The film will be closely tied to the events of the Penguin series, picking up where it leaves off. While it took time to finalize the script, partly due to the writer's strike, sources suggest that both Batman 2 and Batman 3 have been written and will be filmed back to back. This approach aims to create a cohesive narrative across both films. The villain in Batman 2 will be developed gradually, leading to a significant confrontation in Batman 3. Excitement is high for this ambitious continuation of the Batman saga. In Dune, Part 3, characters like Princess Irulan and Alia Atreides, played by actresses like Anya Taylor-Joy, will have significant roles, similar in importance to Chani's character in the first film. As the story unfolds, their contributions will deepen the narrative, setting the stage for the complex dynamics in Frank Herbert's epic saga. Apart from this, Shogun, which won 18 awards at this year's Emmys, has been confirmed for seasons 2 and 3. Hiroyuki Sanada will return, with filming expected to begin in 2025. The writing for season 2 is in the capable hands of the original writers, promising to maintain the quality and storytelling of the first season. The Last of Us season 2 is expected to premiere in the first half of 2025, aiming to be eligible for the next Emmy Awards. This strategic release will allow the series to maintain its momentum and potentially secure more accolades. Fans have a lot to look forward to as the anticipation builds. While my job is to share news, I have some bittersweet updates. Warner Brothers has cancelled the live-action Ben 10 movie, but on a brighter note, a sixth Barbie film is in the works. Meanwhile, the casting for the next season of One Piece is generating a lot of excitement, especially with the ongoing popularity of superhero movies and shows. There's plenty to keep an eye on. In this week's Blade segment, there's new insight into the film's direction. Mahershala Ali is advocating for a serious, R-rated take on Blade, free from comedy. Writer DeMeo has crafted three scripts, one featuring Blade and a group of people trapped in a building full of vampires. The story intensifies when a demon named Lala is revealed to be pregnant, forcing Blade to make a critical decision, save the unborn child or let it be born, potentially threatening the world. Donny Cates, the creator behind the Venom comic storyline, recently praised the script for Venom, The Last Dance, stating it's so impressive that audiences will be blown away. He emphasized the scale of the project, saying, this is how you build it. He hinted that if the king is making an appearance, the queen is also confirmed, suggesting interconnected stories that weave together seamlessly. Exciting times ahead for Venom fans. It's been reported that Marvel has approached Sam Raimi to direct Doctor Strange 3, with plans for him to also helm the Midnight Suns project afterward. This storyline is set to unfold post-Doomsday and may extend into the aftermath of Secret Wars. The narrative could see Doctor Strange, after tackling major threats, teaming up with Wong to form the Midnight Suns to address magical dangers. While fans are excited, it's clear that the overarching plan may lead to a massive team-up film, potentially involving the Avengers alongside the Midnight Suns. Exciting developments ahead.
We got to know the characters of Avengers, Doomsday. Robert Downey Jr. will reprise his role as the main villain, Doctor Doom, while the heroes uniting against him include Winter Soldier, Black Widow, Sam Wilson's Captain America, and the full cast of the Fantastic Four. Additionally, we'll see young heroines like Cassandra Webb, also known as Madam Webb, and Spider-Woman join the fight. This exciting lineup is set for an epic showdown as they prepare to face Doctor Doom in what promises to be a thrilling battle. As I wrap up, I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't liked the video yet, remember, your web won't connect elsewhere. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care.